What's up, everybody, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jayana. I am a self taught MUA makeup artist and a soon to be institution. I'm currently in my last semester of the aesthetics program and then going down the road, hopefully in August, if there's a time for it, we can apply for the state licensing. So, I use my channel as an outlet to teach others um, on the past few things that I've learned about makeup. And I really like to spread that knowledge and education that I've learned and just spread it to other people. So I like using YouTube and other social media platforms as content to get that out there and also just to show my creativity. So with that being said, for today's tutorial, I want to show you how to achieve a full glam look. A lot of women um, that I see posts on social media and in comment sections are always saying how they wish they knew how to do their own makeup and some people generally just can't afford to pay someone every single time an event or even if you just simply want to go out they just want to do their makeup all the time so that is why there are channels such as mine and others where we teach y'all how to do it so today i'm gonna teach y'all how to do a full glam and i mean full glam full coverage a bomb eye show look. We got some contouring and highlighting going on, all the nine yards. So, if y'all want to see that, just keep on watching. And I am gonna, sh excuse me, I'm gonna show you all my tips and all my advice on achieving that look. So, before we move on, uh, remember to hit that bell, so, um, hit the subscribe button, and subscribe to my channel for a for further more content. And hit that bell so that you're notified of all of my uploads that'll be coming up here on this channel. And give this video a thumbs up if it helped you without that. With that being said, and further ado, keep on watching and let's get into this look. All right, so let's get started with these brows. So the first thing I like to do with my brows is just brush them in place and make sure, make sure that no hair is left out of place and no hair is, you know, left standing up. So I like using my spoolie at the end of my pencil. What I'm doing here is setting my brows with some translucent powder. The reason why I'm using translucent powder is because I don't want colored brows first and foremost, and that this powder is gonna dry out my brows before I apply any product. You wanna make sure that your brows are free of any oils, moisture, sunscreen, or whatever else you're using using on your face before you place any product on it. Next, we're gonna lay down the brows using the NYX Brow Glue. You see the consistency that it has, it's kind of sticky, but contrary to belief, it does dry down and your brows will not move. Trust me. Um, I think this is a great, great investment, especially for my thick brow girls. Um, especially if you if you don't ever feel the need to fill in your brows, and I know that's a trend now, but I like using this because, you know, I like a snatch brow. I like a natural looking brow, which is why I like using this pencil from ColourPop, and I have it in the shade Dark Brown. When you're selecting your brow color or your brow tone for your pencil, pomade, powder, whatever you decide that you want to use, use a color that's natural to your brows. Um, try to match your... You can try matching your brows but i like going like a shade lighter because it just gives me that natural looking brow um over here you can have snatch but you also can have your brows looking like brows so that's what i like to do um i'm filling in the bottom and the top of my brow now i can go in more detailed about my brows i'm probably gonna make a brow tutorial to give y'all um even more information about your brows but this is just something quick and to run through but if you want that just comment down below well i'm gonna make it anyway because i love y'all <laughs> So, um, here's a little step that can help you also fill in your brows. It's called brow mapping. You want to start at the very um, beginning of your nose. That's going to do your beginning point. Next, you're going to measure out the arch by going directly across your pupil. That's going to measure your arch. And then, what you're going to do is put the pencil down to your tail to determine where your tail is going to end, which is probably just going to stop at the outer corner of your eye. No further than that. Next, we're going to conceal the brows. I like using two concealers. Um, both are from L'Oreal, the infallible um, line. And I like using two concealers because they just create this pretty tone that helps with priming the lid of my eyes to prepare for my eyeshadow i use concealer to prep my eyelids for eyeshadow and what i'm doing now is just cleaning the bottom of my brow i'm using a very very flat concealer brush with not so much product on it but just enough so that it can show and i'm kind of dragging it down or as you can see and i'm kind of pushing it to um the shape of my brow just cleaning up the bottom i'm going to clean the top later on in the video and i'll show you uh, the little trick that i do 
but I'm not going directly on the bottom of my brow because I don't want to mess up the product, but we're just lining it up. But like I said, y'all, if you want a brow tutorial, I will create one and go into further detail about it. The excess concealer, I am using that and just tapping that onto my lid. And then we're going to blend all that out using a dome shaped brush. And I have two here. So I like using those brushes because of the thickness of them and how the hairs are shaped. And I just tap it into my eyes, creating a very smooth canvas so that whenever I am placing my eyeshadow on it, it will just have something to stick and it won't look so splotchy when I place it up there, as you can see. Now, a little trick that you could do when especially cleaning up the bottom of your brows is connecting the two lines into the middle. You're going to clean up that middle part, of course, but that's going to help with keeping them as even as possible. But that's just a little trick. So now we're going to move on to the eyeshadow. So for today, we are using the Jaclyn Hill Volume Number 2 palette. I haven't used this palette probably since I got it, which is about three years ago. So I was looking through my eyeshadow and was like, okay, what do we need to use? And this probably is expired, but hey, it ain't brought me out yet. <laughs> so I'm showing y'all the three brushes that I use to place my transition shade onto my eye. I always like to start off with a neutral tone or maybe a warm tone color, something that's just gonna match the tone of my face. And those are the three fluffy brushes that I have right there. You can tell that they're fluffy just by looking at the shape of it. The technique that I'm using now is tapping the product onto my crease, tapping it onto my eyelid, Tapping is going to give you that excess color. Um, also, when you're dipping into your pan, tap out that excess so that you won't have so much on your eye. And it'll just give you some room to blend into your eyeshadow. The technique I'm doing now is windshield wiper motions. That is what's going to help create that blend, create that ombre look, create the airbrush look that you want into your eyeshadow. You don't want splotchy looking eyeshadow, so you're going to do windshield wiper motions. You're going to do the circular motions that I'm doing here. Um, I like to blend my eyeshadow into my brow closest to my nose to help me go ahead and create that eye. Go ahead and create that nose contour. Plus, it looks really pretty in pictures. So after blending that color out, which by the way, that shade was called Comfort Zone, I'm going to take these pencil shaped brushes and that's going to help me get deep into my crease so that I can deepen it up. So I'm using the shades G Money and Homeboy, I believe. And I'm also going to tap my brush into the Juvia's Place Bronzer palette in the shade Dark because there wasn't really a dark brown that I was looking for in the Jaclyn Hill palette. So I'm just going to use my bronzer. So I'm putting it directly in the crease and closest to the edge of the eye because that's all I wanted to stay. And I'm going back in with that original brush just to blend those two together so it won't look so obvious that I have those colors on my eyes. Now we're going to move on to the lid. I love a shimmer eyelid. I love using shimmers. I, I love it. You hear me? I love it. So I am taking a flat concealer brush, as you can see the ones that I demonstrated before, and I'm just uh, tapping that onto the lid. Now, you can stay directly on the lid like that, but I, as you can see, I like to bring my up just a tad bit more into that transition shade. I just like the way that it looks. Um, and it just gives glam. <laughs> I'm going back into that pencil brush and my fluffy brush that I use. And I'm just making sure everything is blended in back together very smoothly. And now I'm cleaning my face of all that glitter that fell with the makeup wipe. And I like cleaning the edge of my eye to create that crisp looking look. You also can use concealer, but I just rather not use so much product on my face. So I just rather use a makeup wipe. Now we're priming the face with the Jelly Pop Primer from e.l.f. and the Putty Poreless. I only use the Putty Poreless Primer, the Poreless Putty Primer, on my nose to keep that in um, some of my cheeks. Well, uh, not all the way to my cheeks, but just in that nose area to keep that area smooth looking. And my nose tends to sweat a little, especially when it gets warm in these warm conditions in Georgia. And I like using that to keep everything blurred out. I love the Jelly Pop Primer. Um, I like it better than the Power Group. I, I first used Jelly Pop when it first came out. Didn't know anything about grouping primers. I didn't know, excuse me, what the heck it was. But as you can see, it's sticky, okay? Plus, it gives me that glow that I love so much on my skin. Now, we're color correcting. I like using an orange color corrector and a concealer that matches my skin tone the most. And I just cover little blemishes, pigmentation, pimples that may have popped up on my face. If you want a full glam look, color correcting is really what's going to give you that amount of coverage. You can use a full coverage um, uh, foundation if you want, but color correcting really is going to change your base. Now, I'm using the ColourPop 
foundation, hyaluronic acid, hydrating foundation. Um, I love this foundation. It has a bright, uh, perfect match. It blends pretty well, and I just love the consistency of it. Um, as you can see, I am now carving out the top of my brow. I'm cleaning up the top of my brow using that foundation. I don't like using concealer on the top of my brows, which is what we were taught probably back in 2016. But I like to use foundation because I'm already going to put foundation on my face. Why not go ahead and clean up my brows using the foundation? Plus, it makes it easier to blend in. Um, I like using a brush to blend out my foundation first, then going back in with the sponge to pick up any excess. And trust me, you use that technique, your foundation is going to look strictly light skin. Believe me. So now we're contouring first. Usually I would do concealer first, but I really like the contouring um, first. I like to do that first. So I'm using the Match Stick in the shade Expresso, Expresso from Fenty. And I'm using a stippling brush. And as you can see, that little shading, yeah, I'm creating that dimension so that it can look smaller because my face is round. So it gives me some dimension, especially in the cheek areas. Now I'm placing some liquid blush on from Juvia's Place. And I use the butt of the sponge. And you only need a little bit of this liquid butt blush. I have a video on this blush where I reviewed it. Please go check it out. You only need a little bit. Blush is my favorite product to use. Liquid, powder, whatever you got. I love it. So after my contouring and my blush placement, I like going in to highlight. So I'm using Fenty Beauty's Hydrated Concealer. Um, and I have it, I think, in 400 in. Let that dry just a little bit to give you a little bit more coverage. But you don't even need to do that with this concealer because it has so much coverage in it. And it's very hydrating. I mean... It works so well for my dry skin girlies out there. Please go purchase it. I mean, if, if you had to put it on a firm, go ahead and do that, okay? Um, so now we're going to set everything. So I do all my creams, and then I do all my powders. So I'm setting my eyes, setting my concealer where I place the highlight, which is under my eyes, my forehead, my chin, my nose, my cupid's bow, just the middle of my face. And I'm setting that using the translucent honey powder from Laura Mercier. At first, I didn't like this powder because why does it go on looking kind of ashy? I was not understanding. But just trust the process. Trust it, honey. Because once it melts into the skin, it melts into the skin. But I only use that for special occasions or when I haven't used it in a long time because it's expensive. So, we um, bronze up the skin. Basically, set that contour using the Juvia's Place um, bronzer palette. I use that blush from Makeup Revolution. That's my favorite favorite palette and I basically use every single color in there and then I set my face using the power group dewy setting on um, spray from elf honestly y'all that spray is not good for locking in your makeup so I would prefer using that just to set all the powder in my face and now I'm going in with a little bit of highlight from Colourpop all right it's y'all thank y'all first off so much for watching if you came down to the end we are finishing up the lips all products that I've used today will be down in the description box from order that I have used them. Um, this Rim Beauty lip gloss is the bomb, by the way. I love it. It's drying, but that's why you put a gloss on top. Gloss will change your life, okay? I know everything I probably said today will change your life, like this look and the steps that you follow, but gloss will change your life and a pretty brown lip liner. Trust me. Um, lashes also will change your life, which is going to make this look be a really full glam look, as you will see. But anyway, y'all, if you've came this far, thank you so, 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 so much for watching. Sometimes it can be so challenging getting these videos out. So thank y'all for watching them because it just gives me much more room to make more. But anyway, thank y'all so much. Um, I will see y'all in my next one. Peace and blessings, and I'll see you in my next one. <laughs>